Alright, so in this video, I'll be ranking every starter weapon in Phantom Forces from worst to best. If you're a completely new player to PF, this video is for you. You just joined your first lobby and figured out how to change weapons, but there's a total of 188 guns in PF, and you probably have no idea where to start. Well, this video should help clear up some confusion and help you decide on which one you should use. I will also be including some of the earliest rank unlock weapons, as you should still be able to get them on your first day of playing. Let's get started. So, the AK-12 is the default weapon for PF, and it's the first one you'll see when you load up the game for the first time. Unfortunately though, its base stats are quite weak compared to other weapons, with a mediocre fire rate, poor damage, moderate recoil, and relatively bad damage ranges. Now, if you're not a new player, you might be wondering, what about the Hyperburst? Well, we're ranking the best starter guns in PF. If you're a rank 0 who hasn't played the game ever, you'll have no idea how the hell to use the Hyperburst, or even that it exists in the first place. Hell, I don't even know how to burst the damn thing, and I'm ranked 331. So, the AK-12 can be very powerful in the right hands, but like, you are not the right hands. You're rank 0. You're anything but skilled, and without the Hyperburst, the AK-12 is easily one of the worst assault rifles in the game. Now, the M9 and the Glock 17 do the same thing pretty much, so it really just comes down to which one you think looks cooler. There are a few statistical differences between the two, the M9 having faster muzzle velocity and one more damage point, while the G17 has better magazine capacity and lower recoil. Both weapons mount certain optics on the back of the gun, making them easier to aim with, both weapons can equip an extended magazine, both weapons can equip the stock, and both weapons can equip a long barrel. In general, these weapons do the exact same thing in practice, but there is a slight difference between them, and that is the M9's extended magazine taking up the other slot, while the G17's 33 round magazine takes up the ammo slot. Keep in mind that both pistols also have very low actual recoil, even though the muzzle looks like it goes up a lot, so you really don't need to put the stock on either of them. However, plus B ammo giving extra range and velocity does help out a lot, and combining it with long barrel gives the M9 an impressive muzzle velocity of 2700 studs per second, which is more than most assault rifles. So, for me the M9 is just a bit better, although it's just really your choice as to which one you want to use. Now, the Rex used to be really bad, but they lowered its recoil by a huge amount, which made it really easy to spam, so it's actually a pretty good secondary in its current state. Being able to one tap to the head, even if you're a new player who can't aim to save his life, is still pretty valuable for how spammable this thing is, so while it isn't necessarily the best revolver in the game, it's still a solid pick for a secondary. I don't really have much to say about the M4A1, it's a well-rounded carbine that holds its own in close quarters, great handling, decent fire rate, decent recoil, and the ability to 3 shut up to 38 studs. You can't really go wrong with it, but I think there's better options available. The KSG is definitely one of the worst shotguns in the game, but that doesn't really make it a bad gun. Keep in mind that you're playing PF. Shotguns in this game are a massive middle finger to game balancing, and like all shotguns after, the KSG can still blast people from 60 sets away, and it shoots pretty fast as well. It also holds 15 bullets, which means that you won't ever have to worry about reloading it, because you'll be dead long before you run out of ammo. The MP5K is generally pretty solid for low ranks, but its true power is unlocked once you learn how to abuse PF's movement because then you can take advantage of its faster movement speed. The base gun is similar in performance to the MP7, though trading off some fire rate and long range damage for faster handling and better maximum damage range. However, it's the first gun on this list with a unique conversion that drastically improves its performance. Even without the burst grouping attachments that higher ranked players usually use on it, the MP5K10 is insanely powerful, boasting an impressive 3 shot range while still retaining its fast rate of fire. If you're still on the fence about pre-buying this conversion, I'd say it's one of the best attachments you can get early, as it shreds in close quarters even with its high recoil. As of me recording this, the Mark 11 is the only starter weapon that I've gotten the new recoil, and while it's definitely going to feel different and weird compared to other weapons, the actual recoil of the gun is still really low for how strong it is. This gun also two shots of the torso add to a really good distance as well, making it extremely frustrating to fight against if the person using it is able to deal with the wacky recoil. Also, I should mention that 500 Phantom is literally the most broken conversion in the entire game and the recoil change has only made it better. Make of that what you will. Now, out of all the starter weapons on this list, the M14 is by far the best one if you're a high ranked player. This thing's raw stats are absolutely insane, dealing a whopping 60 damage to the head with the fastest automatic fire rate of any battle rifle, tying for the second farthest max damage range and having the longest minimum damage range of any battle rifle. You can already see that this thing is a complete powerhouse, but if that wasn't enough, 
It has some of the best handling of the battle rifles, tying for the fastest walk speed and the second fastest reload and aim speed as well. Reload speed in particular is such an important stat, especially for battle rifles, as you run dry on ammo a lot, and you immediately realize how much of a luxury the M14's fast reload is once you unlock guns like the AK-12BR and the FAL, which have a much slower partial reload time of 2.9 seconds. Even with its high recoil, the M14 is still incredibly strong at a distance due to its sheer firepower alone, and there's a reason why it's my highest kill gun out of anything on this list. It's statistically the best battle rifle in the game and absolutely worth taking the time to get used to. So remember the thing I said like 30 seconds ago about reload speed being important and all that? Well yeah, that applies here as well. And the Colt LMG reloads very fast for an LMG, and while it's still very slow by the standards of assault rifles or PWs, 3.2 seconds is still insane considering the payoff is 60 rounds. This is also probably the easiest weapon on this entire list to use because missed shots aren't punished nearly as hard and it can 3 shot up to a solid distance. As a gun for low rank players, the Colt LMG outclasses the AK-12 in literally every meaningful way and it still sees use even by the highest rank players in PF. If you hear anyone say that the best starter gun is anything other than the intervention, block them. They're misleading you, and they're objectively wrong. Seriously, if this thing wasn't as broken as it is, PF would be dead. The intervention is the one thing keeping new players from immediately rage quitting the game after they join and get blasted by SC7. Normally snipers in PF are just kinda garbage, and most being a minor inconvenience, and are generally outclassed by autos and DMRs but any player using this thing is a huge Avengers level threat to public safety. It can one shot to the torso out to an absolutely disgusting range of 150 studs. It can hold eight rounds. It has a muzzle velocity of 3200 studs per second, which at 150 studs is basically hit scan. Another thing is that it has six studs of penetration, which is more than any other sniper aside from the 50 cals. At this point, it might as well be a 50 cal without Bark and one shot. The intervention is responsible for entirely ruining any game of Desert Storm for anyone who isn't also using it. It's arguably the best sniper in the game, up to rank 170, and you get it for free. The intervention is easily the most overpowered starter weapon right now, and it's not even close. Anyways, that's my ranking for the starter weapons. Uh, yeah. If you liked the video, like it. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you didn't, I don't care. I, you still gave me the views, so who really wins in the end? See y'all later. Bye.